Hi everyone, welcome back. We're going to be using the Le 5 Stagione pizza flour today. We're going to be making this terrific looking pizza. So let's get down to it. So this is a 63% hydration over a 24 hour period. So nice and quick. So we need 630 grams of water. Adding that into the bowl. And then on the top of that we need 2 grams of yeast. Mix that in the water. Make sure it gives a really good mix. You can add instant yeast to the flour, but I like to add it to the water first off. Then we're going to use one kilogram of the Le 5 Stagione. And then we're going to start to gradually add that flour into the water and then mix it all together with a fork. So as you can see, it starts to take on all the water and uh, hydrate. So using the fork, it just makes sure that all the lumps are taken out and it makes mixing by hand a lot, lot more easier. If you've got a mixer, you don't have to do this so much. You just pop it all in the mixer and away you go. But I prefer to use by hand methods. It makes it a bit more uh, authentic in my opinion. So mixing it all together, as you can see, it's becoming a lot more lumpy now. And this flour, it's got a really high protein content, at 13%. So we should start to see lots of gluten being developed. So we've got to make sure that we give it a really good mix and knead later on. And you'll see that in the video. So we're just about there now, getting ready to be able to take this mixture out of the bowl. And we'll place it on the work surface and we'll start to knead by hand so put a little flour onto the work surface don't put it all on i'm going to show you a little hack in a sec and then empty the bowl out and then to scrape the bowl make sure we're getting all that flour out we need then to use the remaining flour pop it in the bowl and then mix it around and this will take off anything that's stuck to the actual bowl itself so we're maximizing that one kilogram of flour need to do that in these days of uh, high inflation prices and stuff so there we go mixing that around and we've pretty much got all the stuck on dough off there so we're going to mix this for about 15 minutes or so so we're going to need to mix and knead and what you'll see is all the flour that's on the work surface will be incorporated so just popping the last remnants out of the bag now I've seen a few comments uh, from you all saying why do you use excess flour for mixing. This isn't excess flour, this is the contents of the one kilogram. So uh, we're not adding any more flour than one kilogram of flour. So you can be assured that this mix here is 63% uh, hydration or near as damn it, as near as accurate as my scales are. So just giving that now a knead and you can see that it's taking in all that flour now so this at this point this dough is really super soft just giving it a couple of bangs on the work surface it was just starting to become a little bit sticky so don't forget to subscribe really really does help and thank you all to everybody who subscribed so far we've got nearly 550 subscribers absolutely thanks to every single one of you so have you used the 5 Stagione before? Don't forget, leave a comment if you have. Let me know what you think. So now it's time to stretch the dough. I'm stretching it into a sausage shape and then platting it back together again. So what do I think? 5 Stagione. I think it's a fantastic pizza flour. It's got plenty of protein in. And you just know when you're working with it that you're going to get some fantastic pizza. Um, so once it's smooth then need to form it into a tight ball and as you'll see on the pictures there it's the top of it it's really really smooth it's not sticking to my hands at all so we need to cover the dough with the mixing bowl and rest for one hour there we go after one hour uncover it now a bit of a schoolboy error i forgot to take my uh, dough scraper so I'm now going to scrape this off the work surface by hand. But never mind, it's a really good flour and I managed to get that done pretty quickly. 
So there we go, just getting the last bits off the work surface. Now it's time to add 20 grams of salt. So we need to just mix this in gradually again. Uh, you'll see I'm just folding and mixing the salt in. So the salt just acts as a bit of a control over the yeast. Stops the pizza dough from over fermenting and spilling over the top of your mixing bowl. So it's always important to add, add the salt. I always leave an hour's gap just to make sure that the yeast gets established. So just mixing that through now and just opening it up and that's the remaining salt going in there. And now we're going to need to give it a good mix and knead for about five minutes, not so long on this one. So again, it's just really, really a good flour to work with. And once it's all mixed in, all the salt, then you need to start to form it into a ball again beautiful and smooth on the top and I'll give you a bit of a close-up of that so here you go lovely and smooth not sticky at all and now we're going to put it in the mixing bowl and it goes and then cover with the famous shower cap so leave that at room temperature for 18 hours and after 18 hours Look at that, looks fantastic. Let's open it up. So, got a bit stuck to the shower cap. Doesn't matter, it'll unstick. Shower caps are really, really good at um, being like, a bit like greaseproof paper, actually. So, it'll come unstuck. So, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think so far. Let's have a look at that structure, though. Let's open it up. So, you can see, look, it's got plenty of gluten in it. It's very stretchy. And look at that structure inside, it looks fantastic. Lots and lots of gluten has formed overnight. So it's time to make the pizza balls. And um, we're gonna use all that fantastic looking mixture and make them into some brilliant pizza balls. We're gonna get about seven pizza balls here. So get the scales out and we'll get about 230 grams per ball. So just use a little bit of semolina flour at this point and again it just helps forming the pizza balls and stop stuff sticking everywhere so put a little drop on pop that in the scales 230 all nicely done time to form it into a bit of a pizza ball and there you go it's so easy to work with this flour it's absolutely fantastic hardly any sticking to your hands we'll get the pizza box out now so I use these pizza boxes, they're available at Poundland, I use the deep filled ones, I think they're about uh, a couple of pounds for six of them. Put that in there, put the top on, and here presto, jobs are good em. So once you've done them all, leave them for about five hours. So after five hours, it's now time to take the toppings and get them on to make some fantastic pizza as it's pizza time. So again, a little pile of semolina flour just helps to shape the pizza base and get it stretched out, makes it a lot easier. So again, just popping a little bit in the plastic tub and as you'll see there, look at that, how easy does that come out of that tub. So just adding some flour up and dipping it in there and then with my fingers, just starting to open out the pizza base. I just find making pizza just so relaxing as a hobby. Uh, it's just fantastic and it comes with a great reward because it tastes fantastic at the end as well. So just using the steering wheel, just going to wipe off that excess. We don't need too much flour on the base. And there we go, just stretching that pizza base out now. And just going to reshape it up, putting both hands on there and that makes it a lovely round pizza so on with the tomato sauce that goes on really really nicely and then i'm going to put on some parmigiano and then we're going to put on some olives light black olives on a pizza i know it's uh, not to everybody's taste sun dried tomatoes next and then a little bit of the fresh buffalo mozzarella 
a little bit of grated mozzarella on top. Looks fantastic. And then we're going to put on some pepperoni. Plenty of pepperoni. You can't have enough pepperoni on a pizza, in my opinion. Looks fantastic. So, what's your favourite pizza? Leave us a comment. So, into the pizza oven. And this will only take a few minutes to do. I think it's around about 90 seconds. But these pictures are speeded up, of course. So... As you'll see, you'll start to see the pizza crust rising up. And when it rises up, we need to start thinking about warming the turning peel up. Making sure it's nice and warm. And then we're just going to very make sure it's not unstuck. And then turn that 180. So that's what you see now was at the back of the pizza oven. And we'll start to see that edge rising up. Warm that peel up again. And then we're just going to turn it 90. There we go. It's looking good. It smells fantastic. If you had smell-o-vision, it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? So, turn that again. And it's starting now to look fantastic. There you go. So it was a fantastic pizza, I've got to say. Absolutely beautiful pizza. So if you like what you see, leave us a comment, leave a like, hit the like button. Please, please subscribe. We've got more videos coming. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.